Okay, I just want to make this video to help you out um, getting going on your page. So first thing you want to do is get a headline. So I went to a blank set of pages. This page 1819 doesn't have anything on it because you just need a blank place to go. Unless your pages are already blank and then you could just go to your pages and do that. But um, you want to come up here to this library icon and you want to come in and pick a headline. So there's like this two word headline, this big number headline. There's this one big word headline. There's a no number headline. I'm just going to choose this one. And I say add to page. And you make sure you click the, the page that it is on if it's a one sided thing. I'm going to hit apply. And it says OK. And so now you just want to copy, like grab all this like I just did, and hit Control C. Or you can go over here and hit copy. And then, or actually, you want to cut it off because we don't want it on this page. And then close this page and don't save. And then you go to your page that you're building. And let's say, so let's say you're working on page 34 through 5. And then you hit Control V and paste it in, right? And then you can position it where you want it to go, right? And then you can use the text over here to create body copies. So you can say, okay, well, I want right underneath that headline, I'm going to have uh, a, a box about this big. It stays within our little border here that's going to be my body copy text. And you just type in a body copy here. And, and then you want to select it all, go in here, change it to our body copy style, and then just go control C. Go control B, 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 like just fill that box with body copy so we know that's where the body copy goes. And then you can backspace that away because it means that it doesn't fit in the box, right? Um, and then you can use this box, this to make your picture boxes, right? And you want to make sure you have one that's twice as big as all the other pictures on the thing. And then you come in and make other smaller picture boxes. And then just make sure that you, whatever you do, you have a place to put captions for the pictures so like I'm just gonna build a little a really quick little thing here so I made that box and I'm just gonna copy and then paste or you can just use control C control B so I'm just gonna paste a couple more and then I don't need that many for what I'm doing if I just come in and put them in right and then I can come in and say okay I'm gonna put a caption box right here and then we could easily make this caption box be about uh, all, all of these pictures. The, they could be about this one and these three. It would be easy for us to do that. And the, the default font that it does for boxes is the caption font. So you don't have to change it if you don't want to. So then you would just you know build the rest of the spread. Finally, last thing I want to show you. So you, you want to save this if you're doing... If you were doing page 34, 35, you would save this. I'm not going to save it, okay? Because I don't know what's supposed to be on page 34, 35. So close that. Don't save. But you would save. Make sure you save. Um, and then to put the page number in, you just come. And on page 2 and 3 is where the page number thing is. And you just pick your one. So if you're doing like an academics page, you do this. But I think you said you were doing the who coming, which would be events and clubs. So you would grab this one. So you just grab it, the whole thing, and hit Control C, and then you go to your page that you're working on, and you hit Control V, it's still loading, I guess, Control V, there you go, and now you position it. The way you position it, my little head is in the way. I'm going to close this. The way you position it is you, it needs to be the end right here needs to be barely past that red line. And the big bar needs to rest on this line right here. And then obviously you change it to your page number. And you just, just leave that way it is because we don't know what your page is going to be. Okay? So that's what you need to do. Um... Hopefully that helps. Go back and pause the video and rewind if you need to like see what I did. But hopefully that is a crash course that will get you going. Okay.